right, so since I removed the heater from the camper, I decided I'm gonna take the uh, outside cover off here, clean it, test it, make sure it works. So I'll get you guys set up on time-lapse and it'll go from there. Got this out of the outer case. I'm uh, just looking it over. I did spin this. I don't know if you guys can hear. Maybe like an acorn in there or something. So I'm gonna take that apart and see what it's about. Yeah, that was pretty simple. A uh, piece of mud from a mud wasp. So while I have this out, looks like a little gasket ripped when I took it out. So. I'm going to have to make a gasket for that. Other than that, I'm just going to look over it. I'm going to get my uh, compressor fired up and blow this thing out. And then I'm going to try to test it. watching this video then I probably made it but if you're not watching this video then um things went bad real 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 quick so I have a little jumper to my regulated propane and then I have three leads one's power one's neutral and the other one's thermostat so I'll I'll just jump the thermostat right to the hot that way I'll call for the unit to turn on I already test tested it dry it does Fan does kick on, then the pilot light does flicker. So, in theory, adding gas should make it heat up or should make it blow up. We'll see. All right, guys, here we go. In my little Milwaukee 12, 12 volt. I'm just listening for any kind of leaks. What I'll do is, uh, I think I have a squirt bottle. I'll just put uh, maybe some soapy water in it. That way I can see if there's anything bubbling. I figure a Windex should do it. Well, that's bleeding. All right, so I got one that's leaking. This is the one I actually put back on. I didn't tight, tighten the uh, fitting enough, so I'm gonna take this apart. I'll get my little monkey wrench. Put another turn on this. Hopefully that does the trick. Everything looks good. I'm gonna get my 12 volt source here. This isn't gonna run it very long, but at least this should tell me if it works. So my red is obviously gonna be my positive. And then my black is gonna be the negative, which that's what it says. All right, wish me luck. Maybe 
maybe there was just an error in the system. I'll give it a second here. There we go. Now I can stand back a little bit. Folks, well, let me see what see what I can do and, and get back with you. All right, good thing that I caught this because this little regulation block leaking. You see, come on, focus. You see right here. So this little this little it's like a little solenoid. It lets the gas into the firing chamber, which is goes here. There's a solenoid on top, and it is leaking pretty bad. So I'll, I have the manual for this. So I'll look up the manual and see if I can get this little solenoid block. I'll have to replace that and then give this a second try. All right, back on the camper furnace, the little valve that was leaking, I took it all apart, cleaned it, and I'm just going to try to get some gasket, high temp gasket sealer. I don't know if it'll hold or not, but I'm gonna give it a shot. All right, here's our culprit. Uh, faulty solenoid to let the gas go to the actual unit. Uh, I tested it. I thought it was just amperage because I was using like a 12 volt, you know, Milwaukee battery, but I'm on like a 200 amp start with my charger. You can hear it click, no gas. So I'll order another one of those solenoids and uh, hopefully that fixes it. All right, boys, she's up and running. She's hot. Don't mind all this. This is perfectly OSHA approved, not a fire hazard whatsoever. So what I got here, so here's, here's my exhaust, here's my intake. What I did was I just bypassed that little gas valve, ran the gas, directly to the chamber and then just used my valve on my regulator as turning it on and off. I don't know if you guys can see see the flame in there. So she's up and running. It's blowing off some good heat. She's going pretty good. So I just ordered that valve. It should be in in a couple days. I'll put that valve on and this should be checked off. I can put this back in and it'll be ready to use. All right, it's been a couple days later. I got a new gas valve. This one has two solenoids. I think one's a safety. Um, it's a little bit different than the old one, but I'll get this plumbed up right here and I'll test it for leaks and see if it works. All right, got the solenoid all plumbed in. I had to wire in, uh, this is a dual solenoid. The old one is just a single. I think this is for safety in case uh, one fails or fail safe or a different switch. But anywho, um, what I did was I just pigtailed from the original wiring, which is the positive, and then ran the lead over to the other positive, and then the ground pigtailed from that one, and then went to the negative on the other side, so that way both should have positive and negative from a single source and soldered my connections and then crimped on the spade connectors. So next I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hook this back up like I did before and hook up the regulator, hook up my tank and see if this thing will actually work off of the gas valve. All right, that seemed to fix the problem. This uh, valve is very finicky it, when it says a half a half, one half PSI max. That's what it means. Nothing more, <laughs> nothing less. Um, this regulator goes up to 20. Uh, I, I tried to do a little, you know, 20 PSI action here and she wasn't having it. So I'd regulate her down. She's only about a half pound of boost. That's what she likes. 
So I will give you guys a little demonstration here. Yeah, there we go. All right, so right now it's gonna just run the fan and then you guys should see the spark, hopefully. And then it should light off. All right, there's the spark. There's the flame. She's lit. Awesome. Yeah, I'm a little disappointed. Uh, she's only running about half pound to boost. I was really hoping to get about 20 pound, but she's just not having it. She's a little, she's easy on the boost. She's an NA, naturally aspirated. So, um, but other than that, kicks off some good heat. See, she's still going. Got a nice little flame. So I'm gonna call this one good. I'm gonna put it back in the case, put it back in the camper. And that's a wrap for this. All right, guys, thanks for staying tuned. Uh, I got the little heater going. She's only running about half a pound of boost, but that is what it is. And uh, I'm gonna put it back in the trailer. Trailer. Put it back in the camper and call it a day. But I appreciate you guys watching. Again, subscribe, like, do all the YouTube stuff. We'll see you next time.